Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh with another video, um, a tutorial today. We're going to talk about modeling instead of materials, and we're going to use a free program that anybody can download for their computer called Blender. Unreal Engine 4 doesn't offer modeling. That's something that has to be done in a completely different program because Unreal Engine 4 is the, the programming aspect, really. But this is simple. Pro Blender is free. It's it's easy to use. It's, it's, it's free. You can make a duck, and then you could turn around and make... An, an, another type of duck and then and, and other other things so we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. I'm gonna show you just a couple tricks and then we're gonna make a real quick vase type of shape so there's three buttons that you need to know s for scale is super important we have our uh, box selected here if I press s I can do this and kind of shape it or size it if you may if you may uh, we'll go with G for grab and you can move it around all over your canvas here and R for rotate and you can rotate your object. How neat. Now it gets a little more complicated. You can pick an axis, this being your Y, this being your X, and this being your Z. Control Z a couple times and put it back where it was. I'm going to size it on the Z. So S, Z, and now it does this, which is pretty cool. If you have, if you're really good with math and you have certain numbers you want to use, you can literally press S, Z, and the number. So we'll press S, Z, and 12. That wasn't SZ, but it was SY, so you kind of understand what's happening there. Um, we're going to get rid of this cube. You understand kind of how it works now, but uh, we're going to get rid of it by pressing X or delete and then just delete it. Now, if you want to bring in a, mod or a, a shape to start off with, because you can turn anything into anything, press Shift A. There's the cube. Ta-da! I'm just playing. We're not using that. So X again. Get rid of it. Shift A. Pick a cylinder. We're going to start with this thing. Once again, we could move our project or our object wherever we want. We're literally going to do something really simple here. And we're going to press SZ again. Not SY. SZ or whatever it is. And we're going to bring it up like this and have a little size to it. Now here's what's cool about this. It's one shape, but you can actually go in and modify the faces. That's what we have to do. If you press tab, you can look at all your different faces here. And A to deselect and select all. So we have, see how many polygons we have here. You can select points that the lines meet. That's what's selected here. These are for the lines. And these are for the faces. Yeah. So first things first, we're going to get rid of a couple things. We do not need this face. So get rid of it. That was wrong. I controlled Z to get out of that. Press X and delete just the face. Do not s delete the vertices because that's deleting all the points, which will also delete all the lines. So X, delete faces. One more time. <clears throat> X, delete faces. Calm down. So we'll go over here, do the exact same thing. X, delete faces. So now we're going to make this thing curve. And it's not going to curve unless it has a lot more faces. Because that's just how these things, that's how things work. So we're going to select it by selecting, pressing A to select all. I got a little trick here I learned. Control R. Check that thing out. It's going to create a little slit in my object. Control R. And then you scroll the mouse wheel for more slits. It's a weird word. I'm going to make a bunch of them. We're going to make a ton. I'm talking like, like that. We'll press enter. Now, now we can make some stuff happen. All right, so simple enough. This is what we can do. We can just hold alt. We got it. We'll set select faces. We can just hold alt like this, and it will select lines at a time. So we'll do it like this so we can control them, because now you can press S to size it and do whatever you want. You probably want to control more faces. You see this little thing down here? You can click it and press enable. And every time you press S now, it will control a few different faces. And as you control, or as you scroll the mouse wheel, it'll control even more of them. Pretty neat trick, huh? Well, this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna select this bottom face, okay? And we're gonna size it out a little bit like this. We'll size it out a pretty good bit. And then we'll select this second face and we'll size it in and like this. Uh, let's go up here and select a face. Let's or uh, a line of faces, if I may say. We'll select a different one like this, or maybe right about here and bring it in, bring it out just a little bit. So size it. Scroll the mouse wheel up to kind of get some more uh, functionality there. We're gonna, we're gonna work with this for a second, and we'll do that, and we'll start there. Now let's select this top face, this top line of faces. I apologize, and let's maybe about right here, and we'll size it to where it kind of meets. And we'll size it down like this. And then if you wanted, we could maybe take just this face and maybe bring it down to where we can size it out a little bit like this. And then if you wanted to be extremely picky, we could maybe click this face again. It's a line of faces, sorry. And we could go in and bring it in a little bit more, kind of maybe like that. Huh? 
So now you have kind of a vase, a flower vase. Now there's a couple different things you can do from here, but we're not going to do much else. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how you can use this modeling program. Basically, you go back to press tab and now you have your object. And that's kind of what it's going to look like. You see over here, it's set to flat. Now certain things need to be flat, but we need this thing to be smooth, so we'll smoothen it out. And now we have a vase. And if you bring it into the Unreal Engine, we can add the materials. We talked about materials in recent videos. You add the materials, make it look how you want, and bam, you have a vase for your game. And it's literally as simple as that. Not too complicated. You can size the entire thing now. You could um, make it just taller if you wanted by sizing Z, sizing, you know, sizing on the Z. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much an intro to modeling. We'll get more into it and I'll show you a couple more videos, but this is Blender. It's free. Once again, this is just so you can use it, create something, and then export it from here, import it into the Unreal Engine 4, and put, put it in your game. And that's what we do. So thank you guys for watching. I'll definitely be posting more videos. The YouTube channel will be up soon, so you guys can watch this on a regular basis. And uh, I'll be back in a couple days.